Now discuss a, a comparator, the idea of comparing uh, two numbers, and we will uh, discuss one uh, possible implementation of that circuit. So let's say we have only two bits to compare, A and B. And if we had to have a truth table for that, we have simply two options. These numbers could be equal to each other A might be smaller than B or A might be bigger than B so for a truth table if they're equal let's say we're gonna generate a 1 if A is smaller than B then we're gonna generate 1 this is another output so this would not generate but this would generate 1 and for A bigger than B so this would be our truth table so now let's think about a, a 6 digit 6 bit number 2 6 bit numbers and see how we would approach to compare these two numbers So, what you would have to do, of course, the, the numbers in the very left, very right, they would contribute to the number less because they would be multiplied by 2 times 2 to the 0. But this one would be multiplied at 2 to the 5. So, this is more important. The one num numbers on the left is more important so that's why we call these most significant bit most significant and these would be least significant So we name these MSB and LSB. Most significant number, least significant bit, and most significant bit. Let me write the bit here as well for this one too. So what you would have to do is to compare first bits first to see if they are equal. Well, in this case they are equal. So you cannot see this, but this is 1 now. Let me put it there again. So then you would compare the other bits until you find that the bits are not equal each other then you would look at it so 0 is smaller than 1 then you would say since 0 is smaller than 1 no need to look at the other bits then you can say this is this number is smaller or the other number is bigger so what I would like to do now is I'm going to show you a circuit example and I'm going to show you a circuit example for only one bit of a comparator how we would implement this. So I'm going to show you the bits, a one bit comparator how we would implement so you can actually put them next to each other to form a 6-bit error so here is the here is the circuit and let's analyze what's happening here so before we discuss the circuit I would like to tell you a few things first 
let's look at the operation briefly for XNOR just a reminder this is an XNOR XNOR would generate a 1 only when A and B are equal so that's good that then we can use for the equal output if uh, just an XOR, XNOR bit and you see in the picture that like, there are some AND gates with some bubble at the beginning at the input let's think about first a regular AND gate so for a regular AND gate you would only generate a 1 at the output only if your inputs are 1 but if you put a bubble in one of the inputs that means that input would be converted into the opposite, uh, the complemented version so in order to get a 1 here you would get 1 and 0 here because this 0 is actually gonna be interpreted by this AND gate as, as 1 so this is gonna be actually 1 here so the I say my similar idea here so let's look at this slow uh, slow work walk our way so let's look at the equal sign so this means this this is the previous bit if they're equal that's good but we still need to look uh, all the bits to see if this number this whole number is equal this is the previous bit in our case is this these one or this one so if they're equal then we check for this with this gate this is an AND gate if these are equal that means that will generate a 1 so there is a 1 here and see this is the XNOR bit so only if A and B are equal then you would generate a 1 that would give us a output of 1 that would say these numbers are equal how about the smaller than signal if the previous bits uh, are smaller than each other then we don't have to do this because that's the more significant bit so that's why this would only function if you get a zero from here that means it is not smaller that means it's equal so if you get a zero here the only way to get a one here is to get a one from this AND gate and to get a one from this AND gate you have to get a one here one one that means your input is have to be one zero and one zero is going to be complemented here so this means a is smaller than b similar with the bigger than so this has to be zero so then the input coming to this bit is from here it has to be one 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 again same thing but the input is going to be one one zero because this is bubbled that means your A is going to be one and B is going to be zero that means that is bigger than that that would generate a one this is a one bit implementation of a comparator then you would have to put six of them next to each other to combine this circuit so what would how how it would look like would be something like this so you would have one circuit here and then you would have another one that would go right next to to that so these would be connected here